It's the time for Breakage from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back <coughs> to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, I have something totally new to show you. In the previous videos, I made some videos about clone systems, for example, NES, Super NES, Mega Drive, PlayStation Mini, they ripped it all off. But this time, we have something totally new. We having the Super VIB TV. So this is more like, let's say, the China Mini console. They made their own model, or I don't know if there's a model that looks like this, but so far I know, it's just a unique product. It comes with two controllers, and yes, it has EV out. There is something weird going on, because if you look at the box itself, it says here 169 in one, but also has 30 VIB. I'm guessing this is more like 30 vibration game, so... Confusing, a lot of, very confusing. So it says here again, 30 VIB and 139 in one. So I'm curious how they are going to do this inside the menu. Console, AV out, DC cable, user manual, joystick, two piece. It's from the brand Enburnic. Enburnic, do I pronounce correctly? I'll leave a link for the store. There's a lot of awesome products. So this is what we're going to get people. And as you can see, it's super tiny. All right, before we're going to take a close look at the system itself, let's see what comes with the system. Okay, we're having very f familiar controllers because I have seen these before with, for example, the Retro Arca Arcade Machine. Only this one has indeed the Type C connection. So the controller itself, the layout, it's totally bullshit because it's an 8 bit system. I know for sure it's an 8 bit, so we're only going to use two buttons some four because we're having the uh, let's say turbo buttons so two are not working or we have in double turbo buttons is there something we can see that has rumble motors in it yes indeed i don't know if you can see but here you can see something over here i hope you can see it on the camera here so i'm guessing these are rumble motors okay this is going to be interesting all right so i have here the micro usb for charging just basic five volts there is no power supply by the way so Okay, we need to grab ourselves one. If you out, jack cable. We're having two for audio, one for signal. Oh, like the system itself, it's super compact, so it comes with a Chinese paper toilet manual. This one, the deluxe version, with thick toilet paper, yeah. So basic explanation. All right, so let's just see what do we going to get. Make sure that the crash fee in the unit and the machine are new, otherwise the device will not Okay, wait. So make sure that the accessory in the unit and the machine are new, otherwise the device will not work properly. What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> Alright, let's take a close look at the, uh, the, the system itself. Alright, the Super View VIB. I'm guessing it's more like a Super Vibration, and that sounds even more weird. We're having two controller ports here at the front. If you lift it up a little bit, you can see here we have a power button. Oh, just a basic reset button. Is this thing stuck or what? Yeah, it's stuck a little bit. There's nothing here. Here we have a DC 5 volt input and a TV out. And that's it. Is there something inside this? I don't think so. All right, so when power on system, we can see we're having two menus. And the reason why, this is are the game for vibration and these are the games just for just for no uh, vibration. Funny thing is, you can hear it. I'm going to reset it. Every time you reset it, it vibrates. You can hear it, very funny. All right, so let's try some vibration games. Ooh. By the way, every time you need to choose your language. Freaking annoying. If you reset it, it goes back into the first menu. Yeah, let's play some Adventure Island. All right, I'm going to put the controller over the microphone so you can hear where it's vibrating. When it's vibrating. When jumping, nothing happens. It's more like when throwing an X and hitting an A. Okay. I must say the effect, I must hand them to them, it's really funny. Because back in the day with the 8-bit, we didn't have any vibration at all. So it's pretty cool. If we jump over it. No, it's, they just program it when I'm hitting an enemy or touching an egg. Not with a fruit. 
Ah, it's vibrating again. <laughs> okay, I must say this is really cool. Yeah. Nope, when hitting enemy, it doesn't do anything. Even when throwing an egg to this rock, nothing happens. No vibration. It's just when hitting an enemy. Wanna kill myself? Yep. Alright, let's play another game. Tank. Oh crap, choose stage 2, but. Okay. I'm shooting a bullet, nothing happens. Why does it vibrate at the moment? When I kill myself. Oh, and no, when I get killed. Yeah, basically, when I get shot and when the enemy hit me, then it's going to vibrate. Hmm. Right, nothing. Every time I jump the hoop. Okay, crap. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do a quick scroll through the menu. These are the 30 games that are having vibration or rumble function. Yes. Ooh, pinball, that's cool. That's something we're going to try out. Okay. Let's reset it. Let's go to the other menu. Choose English. Kung Fu Panda. Mm. Turtles. There are already some good games on it. Yeah. Super Fight 1. What is Super Fight 1? No idea. No, the collection is decent. Final Fight, Rockman 3. So weird that you're putting Rockman 3 on it when there is no other Mega Man and Rockman. That's so strange. Duck. Oh, I hate it when they put these crappy games on it. We're having this very small collection compared with other systems. Why do you even bother adding these crappy games? Oh, Spider and Exit School. Alright, so that's the full list. Let's play some games. Let's play some more games. Okay, do I have turbo? Ah, okay, turbo button. Love the turbo button. Wait for it, wait for it. Let them all come. Come on, bring it on. Oh crap. Oh man, this is so cheating. Crap. Crap. No! Alright, let's try vibration again. <laughs> okay. Where does it have vibration? Okay, that is cool. Oh yeah, that's cool. That is really cool that you have vibration on the bumper there. Okay, let's go down. Oh, this goes crazy now. Oh, cool. But yeah, it's really cool. Vibration function in this game. Really cool. Alright, so for the final conclusion, if it comes to the Super VIB. The idea behind it that we're having Rumble function is a funny addition to the system itself. It's a shame that all, all of the games have the Rumble function. And in some games the, the rumble feels a little bit pointless, but for example the pinball game is pretty cool. The rumble goes apeshit sometimes with all the bumpers in the pinball machine. And then overall this is a really funny de device if you ask me. It's something, let's say, unique in a kind of way. Yeah, they're still being naughty with the games, but that the system itself, how it looks, how it feels, it's funny, yeah. So I'm very curious in the future what kind of products they are still going to make and I'm guessing in the future we're going to have more Rumble games. So that concludes this video, I hope you liked it, I want to thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the bell because you get updated for more awesome Wicked content. And if you like gaming, don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel. See you next time.